Indeed, it is well with our Lord, and it is well in our soul, and it's well with our soul when the Lord is in us. Sabi nila, payapa ang buhay pag ang Panginoon nagahari sa atin. And for our souls to be well in the Lord, we have to have the courage to change what should be changed. And we should have the serenity to accept what cannot be changed. And according to one quote, the wisdom to know the difference. Dapat alam natin kung merong dapat na baguhin, kung merong dapat na lang tanggapin, at malaman natin kung alin yung alin sa dalawa na yun. For us to continue to have wellness of soul, ang ating pag-aaral ngayon, pinamagatan natin, mga katotohanan or facts of life na sana huwag nang problemahin o kaya tanggapin na lang para mabawasan ang hirap ng loob. Yan ang maiksing pamagat ng ating pag-aaral. Or facts of life that must be accepted for our souls to be well. Heavenly Father, we thank you for wisdom that comes from you. We now ask you to be our speaker. Lead us, teach us, heal us, guide us. Strengthen us, O Father. Bring us to another level of spirituality where we can appreciate you more, where we can have the courage to change things that must be changed, the serenity to accept things that cannot be changed, and give us the wisdom to know the difference. Lord, lead us. Quiet our hearts. Use your servant only as your instrument, but be the speaker. And may we, Lord, be blessed by your wisdom to the point of being more and more like your Son, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray, anticipating and thanking you in advance for the many blessings you will give us. Praise you. Ecclesiastes 8.15, and I'll be reading mostly from the contemporary English version unless otherwise stated. So I think we should get as much out of life as we possibly can. There is nothing better than to enjoy our food and drink and to have a good time. Then we can make it through this troublesome life that God has given us here on earth. Life indeed can be troublesome and people should balance this by maximizing enjoyment. Dahil sa kasalanan na rin ng tao, maraming tuwid ang nabaluktot, maraming liwanag ang dumilim, maraming bigat at hirap tayong daladala at kailangan lang matuto tayo kung paano paparamihin ang saya at papakontiin ang lungkot sa buhay. To minimize pain, frustration, disappointment, even delusion, disillusionment, to minimize disorientation and convenience, there are some facts of life that should be accepted, even appreciated. Parang biyanan o manugang, hindi na pwedeng palitan, kaya dapat na lang tanggapin, at hindi lang pagtyagaan, dapat tutunan na enjoyin. One fact of life is that people change. Nagbabago ang tao. Yung pinakasalan mo 30 years ago, iba na siya ngayon. Yung minahal mo 5 years ago, magbabago yan. 2 Corinthians 3.18, The Lord's Spirit makes us more and more like our glorious Lord. This is a positive spiritual growth because people's spirituality changes. 1 Corinthians 13.11, When we were children, we thought and reasoned as children do. But when we grew up, we quit our childish ways. Sometimes the change is negative, retrogressive, and unwelcome. Hindi lahat ng pagbabago ay pag-asenso. May pagbabagong pag-atras. But one truth remains, people's mentality changes. What else changes with mentality? Perspective, point of view, thoughts, values, tastes, our likes and dislikes. Emotions change, feelings change, so does affection and love. Hence the great leap of faith in marriage. Kaya hindi biro ang pagpapakasal. Sabi ng matatanda, ang pag-asawa dahil hindi parang kaning isusubo, iluluwa akong mapasok. That's why there's a great leap of faith in making vows, even in signing contracts. Kaya na-invento ang mga kontrata. Why were contracts developed and invented? Because people change. Ecclesiastes 5.6, Don't let your mouth or your vow get you in trouble. And the Bible admonishes us not to be guarantors. Because people that you guarantee change their minds. Their fortunes change or you change your mind. 
People fall in love. People fall out of love. Love, closeness, enjoyment in marriage, in family or friendship is sustained despite change and growth only when the individuals concerned grow in the same direction, in the same trajectory and speed. When they stay in the same quadrant or at least in the same half of the plane. So when you travel together with someone in your life, at least you're, if you're both traveling northeast, you're in the same quadrant. If you're both traveling north, you're in the same half of the plane. But if somebody begins to travel southwest and the other northeast, probably another half of the same plane, but not in different quadrants anymore. What if somebody travels north and the other one travels south? That's why people separate ways. Because they can grow in different directions. And that cannot be changed, that we change. Jeremiah 13, 23, Can people change the color of their skin or can a leopard remove its spots? Akala ng ibang, ibig sabihin nito, walang nagbabago. But this sense of permanence is more about natural or inborn, even genetic traits, not about those related with mentality or emotion that could be affected by the environment. With loved ones, hope and work for positive change, for change in the same direction, and for continuing oneness. But be ready for changes in others and in you. Nagbabago ang tao. Bawat nadidinig, nakikita, nararamdaman, nararanasan, nagpapabago sa atin. Kaya pag sobrang magkahiwalay ang mag-asawa, magkahiwalay ng kinakain, magkahiwalay ng buhay, magkahiwalay ng lugar, at hindi matibay ang pag-ibig nila at hindi sila parehong sumusuko sa pag-ibig ng Diyos, maaaring magkalayo ang loob. At pag nagkalayo ang loob, kasunod na lang na maglalayo na pati ang kanilang mga buhay. Tinatanggap yan, people change. That's why if you care for somebody very deeply, you try to change in the same direction or trajectory or speed so you don't fork ways. You don't separate ways. Pinagsisikapan yan. Another fact of life is partners can become unfaithful. I don't want to burst the bubbles of those who are newlyweds. Loving or not loving, a partner can become unfaithful. Pag may pinapakasalan kayo, umaasa kayo magiging matapat yon at sumusumpa kayo magiging matapat. Pero magbigay kayo kahit konting puwang sa puso nyo na maaaring madapa, magkamali ang isang tao at maging unfaithful. Most of serious counseling is about unfaithfulness between spouses. Malakay 2.15, don't ever be unfaithful to your wife. Why the abundance of such commands? Kasi nangyayari. What is important is for you to be faithful yourself because you can control yourself by God's power but leave some room for your partner's tendency to and capacity for unfaithfulness. Sometimes what is most painful are people who never even expected, suspected, or imagined that their spouse could be capable of unfaithfulness and then suddenly they realize May anak na palang 12 anyos kay Kumare. Ang sakit kasi buong buhay, nasa ilusyon ka na perfect ka na pangasawa mo. We pray for that. We strive for that. But leave room for the possibility so that when, if it does happen, there will be less pain. Facts of life. Not to just burst your balloon, but we should be grounded on fact. Be ready for people's possible unfaithfulness to you, be they business partners, be they relatives or friends or associates. Leave room for it. Fortify yourself against it. Accept its possibility from the start. It will minimize pain if pain would come. Jesus says in Mark 14, 38, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now this weakness of the flesh must be thought of by those who have to forgive, not those that commit errors. Kung meron kayong partner na nagkasala sa inyo, kayo yung mag-iisip, the flesh is weak. 
Pero kung kayo nagkakasala, hindi nyo sasabihin sa partner nyo, eh kasi the flesh is weak, biblical yan, kaya ako naging weak. Don't ever abuse such truths. Another fact of life, people get sick. People age. People die. Maaga pa lang, tanggapin nyo yun. Pag nakahiram kayo ng asawa ng 10, 20, 30 years, tapos binawi na ng Panginoon, people die. Huwag kayong magtampo o magalit sa Diyos. Pasalamat kayo, nakahiram kayo kahit saglit. This will happen to your partner, to your child, to your parent, to your friend, to you. And more than most people, spiritual leaders see this more sensitively because we face the cycles of life nearly every day or every week. Somebody is getting born, somebody is dying, somebody is getting well, somebody is becoming worse, somebody is getting married, and next week some people are separating. The cycles of life. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 2, Everything on earth has its own time and its season. There is a time for birth and death. That's why it is important to live life to the fullest in its every stage. You allow a child to be a child. You allow a young person to be a young person. Maturity comes later. Let the mature people be mature. You know, don't force people to fast forward old age. You have all the time in the world to be old. So be young when you're young and allow people to be young. Don't expect them to be adults. Although we teach them and prepare them for adulthood, but you don't steal childhood from children. You allow them. Ecclesiastes 12.1 Keep your Creator in mind while you are young. In years to come, you will be burdened down with troubles and say, I don't enjoy life anymore. So enjoy life when you can. Siyempre, para ka mag-enjoy ng life, medyo ka konting uh, masayahin, hindi ka masyadong serious sa mga problema, eh ang bata-bata, pinapaserious mo na. It will happen whether you like it or not. Darating ang mga hapdi at pait na magpapamature sa ating lahat. Kung hindi pa nangyayari sa mga bata, hayaan nyo muna sila mag-enjoy ng kaunting innocence. Do not deprive them. Live to the fullest when and while you can. And let others live to the fullest when and while they can. Set them free to pursue their dreams, to become the people that God had meant them to be. And it's important to share good times whenever possible because times are not always that good. You want to go on a picnic but somebody has a heart attack, somebody becomes paralyzed. You want to go on a trip but your fortunes change and you suddenly become poor. Dapat marunong tayong uh, sumakay sa panahon. Ecclesiastes 11.9 Be cheerful and enjoy life while you are young. Do what you want and find pleasure in what you see. But don't forget that God will judge you for everything you do. He just says, well, just don't leave God out of the equation, but never neglect to enjoy. Many people like to emphasize the last sentence and scare the young people in, from becoming young. But it just says, be young, enjoy. Just don't forget that God will hold you to account, so give yourself limits. When you grow old, when you become sick, do not be full of regrets. Enjoy what you may while the time allows you. Another fact of life, fortunes change. Reversals happen. Sabi ni Balagtas, ay bago sa mundo'y sa isang kisap mata, ang tao'y mayroong sukat ipagdusa. Sa isang iglap, pwedeng mapalitan ang lahat sa buhay natin. Isang banggaan sa highway, pwedeng mamatay ang dalawa mong magulang, maibang buhay. Isang plane crash, isang boat capsizing, could take away your loved ones or your life. Isang maling galaw, nahulog ka sa hagnan and got paralyzed from the neck down. Anything can happen. That's why we should celebrate life whenever possible. Job went from everything to nothing and then thankfully to everything again. Not everybody ends that way. Usually, pag nagka-reversal, nakakamatayan na yung reversal. Unless the abundance, love of God takes over and that you do the right thing to even attract the good blessings of God to come your way. It can happen to anyone. So be ready for any sudden change. 
Huwag kayong mabuhay na parang hindi na magbabago ang lahat. Kung sobra kayong hirap, huwag kayong maghinagpis lagi. Mababago yan, pwede. Kung sobra kayong yaman, huwag kayong magyabang. Hindi nyo alam. Proverbs 27.1 Don't brag about tomorrow. Each day brings its own surprises. And sometimes the surprise is scary. When you are up, when you're young, strong, prosperous, be nice. As they say, be nice to people on your way to the top because you will meet the same people on your way down. Hindi dapat nahihibang at nalalasing pag matagumpay. Hindi ka nakakatiyak na ganyan lagi. When you are down, work and hope because fortunes can change. Another fact of life, Success invites unwanted attention. Success invites hangers on. Pag panalo ka, maraming lumabalapit para humingi ng balato. Success can invite envy and competition. Don't think that when you become successful, things will be rosy. Success is given only to a few because only a few can bear the burden of success. Because so much burden goes with the terrain. May mga artista pa nagre-reklamo, ang dami daw intriga. Eh gusto mong sumikat, natural atra ka ng intriga. Ngayon, kung ayaw mong huwag kang mapansin, pumasok ka sa factory ng Hopia. Sa factory ka ng Hopia, may intriga din eh. Di ba? Ganon talaga yon. If you cannot bear the heat in the kitchen, get out. Ganon talaga. Proverbs 14 and 20, But you have lots of friends if you are rich. Siyempre yung friends na yon, open and close quotation. When you are famous or powerful, people pretend to be your friends. Success has many relatives. And when you're successful, jealousy will surround you. Kasama yun. Ecclesiastes 4.4, Then I realized that we work and do wonderful things just because we are so jealous of others. This makes no more sense than chasing the wind. Most of the time, you want to excel not because you believe in excellence, but you only want to be ahead of the other person. You want to have the edge. So, you want to be successful, be ready for critics, for competitors and wreckers. Most criticism comes from envy. So, kung nakikriticize ka, at least pasalamat ka, napapansin. Kesa hindi ka mapansin dyan. Another fact of life, love hurts. Nakala mo, love, pink. Kumisan lang yun sa simula. Sabi nga sa isang pelikula, bakit pag nagiging totoo ang pag-ibig, sumasakit na? So alam mo daw, pag nagiging totoo, nakakaramdam ka na ng kirot, nakakaramdam ka na ng selos, marami ka na mga hinahanap na wala doon, nagiging totoo. Love is a rose, yes, but it has many thorns. Jeremiah 79, The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Especially if it is the heart of the one you love. You can find so much of it and so much discontentment because a loving heart is never satisfied. At ang pag-ibig ay sakim at aayaw ng kakabiyak o wala na kahit ano o ibigay mo ng lahat. Sabi ni Jose Corazon de Jesus. And that is why parents feel happy and at the same time sad when their children fall in love because they know that love will have its rose and its thorns. So when you love, when you fall in love, expect to take the thorns as well as the roses. Another fact of life is that only one wins and it's usually the opponent. Why? Statistics will tell you that the opponent has more chances of winning because there are many. Marami kang kalaban eh. Kaya ang dami ng chance na hindi ikaw yung mananalo. So you work, pray, and hope for victory, but be ready for defeat. That's why you have school contests. You have little leagues. You know what those small contests are for? For us to practice in defeat. To practice for defeat. Kaya mga bata, ang mga young people, pinapasali natin sa maraming contest, hindi para sila laging manalo, para masanay silang matalo. Dahil maraming talo sa buhay. Hindi laging panalo. Ngayon, kung natalo ka, nagpo-protest ka na. 
Your little kid does not win in a declamation contest and you go to court. You call every teacher demon and you raise hell in the school. You are teaching your child not to accept defeat. We make children go to contest, prepare them so that they could win, but also prepare them that they might not win because chances are they won't. And when they can accept defeat graciously, learn it, improve upon it, build upon it, then you are making a good person. You are developing character. You cannot always win. It's a fact of life. Dapat sinasanay. That's also why most of the time we allow our children to have pets. Because the lifespan of pets is much shorter than our own lifespan. And so if nature would take its course, the pet would die ahead of our children. And our children get their practice in bereavement. Because people die. Nagpa-practice tayo sa mga pets. Hindi nyo naman papatayin yung pet para kayo mag-ensayo. No? Pero ang mahalaga, sinasanay natin. 1 Corinthians 9.24, you know that many runners enter a race and only one of them wins the prize. Spiritually, so run to win. In any contest, run to win. But if you don't win, ask yourself why. Improve on your craft. Congratulate the winner. Celebrate the victory even if it's not yours. Because it's human achievement and therefore it is for God's glory. Another fact of life, most attempts fail at first. Bihira naman na first attempt mo, panalo ka na. Konti lang ang sa golf, hole in one. Alam niyo ang goal ng golf? Paluin yung bola at pasyutin doon sa butas. Pero nakakita na kami, isang palo lang, nag-shoot agad, yun ang hole in one. Bihira-bihira yun, kaya binibigyan yun ng award. Bihira yun. Madalas, Tumirik na yung araw, nasunog na yung balat mo, hindi pa nagsushoot. Yun ang totoong buhay. No? Increase your chances by increasing your attempts. Increase your chances by working more. But when it does not work, ganun talaga buhay. Sabi ng Pranses, Seladi. Sabi ng mga Aleman, so is das Leben. That's life. Ganyan talaga. Ecclesiastes 11.6 Sow your seed in the morning and at evening let your hands not be idle for you do not know which will succeed whether this or that or whether both will do equally well. Kung gusto nyong marami ang pagkakataong magtagumpay marami ang pagsisikap na gawin nyo. Gusto nyong marami kayong tubuin marami dapat ang pamumuhunan. Gusto nyo maraming anihin, marami dapat itanim. Kasi hindi nyo alam kung alin ang tutubo, alin yung mamumunga, alin ang magkiklik. You never know. That's why don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Or if you do, watch that basket. Kasi inilagay nyo na doon lahat. Kahit sa pag-ibig, huwag nyo inilalagay lahat sa isang tao lang. Dahil pa paano kung bigla nagtaksil, hahanapin nyo si Basilio. Huhulihin nyo ang sawa sa lumang simboryo? Anong gagawin nyo? Tatalong kayo sa Pasig, mahuhuli kayo dahil madadagdagan ng pollution. Kailangan handa ang loob. Ecclesiastes 10.10, If the axe is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. So gusto mo ng mas maraming chances to succeed? Work harder. Work smarter. Do more. Pero for now, may mga katotohanang mainam tanggapin na lang para matahimik. Lalo't tapos na. Mga mag-asawa, kung nagkamali ang asawa ninyo, tapos-tapos na, ibaon nyo na. Tapos na eh. Hindi na nababago ang nakaraan. Ang nababago na lang, attitude. Para tayo sumaya, gumawa kayo ng paraan. Hope for the best, but be ready for the worst. At huwag makipagtunggali sa facts of life. Do not contend with facts of life. Accept them. You'll be happier. With God's grace and power, you will be able not only to survive, but also to be victorious. And adjust. Adjust to any situation you're in. God has given man great resilience. 
Hindi natin kayang sukatin ang lalim ng pwede nating sisirin, taas ng pwede nating liparin, lawak ng pwede nating puntahan. Huwag niyong lilimitahan ang Diyos. Ano man ang kalagayan niyo ngayon, baguhin niyo kung hindi niyo gusto, kung hindi niyo mabago, tanggapin niyo and build upon it. Get on with life. Live life to the full. Sabi ng Panginoon sa John 10.10, I came that they may have life and have it to the full. And Philippians 4.13 says, I can do anything through Christ who gives me strength. So you can change what needs to be changed and you can accept what cannot be changed. Accept these facts of life and live more happily. And when you're happier, you make more people happy and you glorify God more. Dear God, thank you that we have you. Thank you that because of you, we can have peace. Because of your enablement, we can change the things that we should change. Through your wisdom, we can recognize what needs to be changed and what needs to be accepted. And by your power, O oh God, we can accept what we cannot change. Teach us to adjust. Teach us to, be, to complain less and less. And to celebrate life, to look for things that need to be celebrated and not focus on the things that are not there. Lord, as we continue to enjoy the life that you lend to us, allow us to glorify you with fruitfulness, with good deeds, and with happiness, not complaints. Teach us to strive to be happy. Father, we thank you in the name of your Son, Jesus. Let's continue in the spirit of prayer. Bow your heads before the Lord in silence and ask God for more personal guidance, enablement, correction, and healing to accept the facts of life. Lord, in silence, speak to each one of us according to our circumstance.